Capitol Hill doctor confirms McConnell did not suffer stroke or seizure. Washington, D.C., the Capitol's attending physician, Dr. Brian Monahan, has issued a statement dispelling concerns about Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell's health following recent episodes where he appeared to freeze in front of television cameras. The 81-year-old McConnell, a prominent figure in American politics, has been evaluated by a team of neurologists, and the results indicate that he did not experience a stroke, seizure, or have Parkinson's disease, according to the letter released by McConnell's office on Tuesday. McConnell's unusual moments in front of cameras, the second occurrence within a few months, had raised questions about his ability to continue serving as the leader of the Senate GOP conference. After his latest incident in Covington, Kentucky, he underwent an evaluation by four neurologists. Dr. Monahan's letter mentioned that he consulted with McConnell's neurologists and conducted various evaluations, including brain MRI imaging and electrical brain imaging tests. The letter stated, there is no evidence that you have a seizure disorder or that you experienced a stroke, TIA, or movement disorder such as Parkinson's disease. During a floor speech on Tuesday, McConnell briefly acknowledged the attention his recent incident had garnered and assured the public of his productivity during August, listing events he attended during the recess. Members of the Senate GOP leadership downplayed concerns about McConnell's health after their weekly meeting on Tuesday evening. McConnell is expected to address his health during a closed-door conference meeting with Republican senators on Wednesday, according to Texas Sen. John Cornyn. When asked about McConnell's future as the leader in the next Congress, Senate GOP Whip John Thune offered his support, saying, I don't even want to start speculating about that. But he has my full support, and he'll have the support of the conference. The exact cause of McConnell's episodes remains unclear. His office had previously attributed them to lightheadedness and doctor. Monahan had suggested in an earlier letter that it is not uncommon for concussion victims to experience lightheadedness. McConnell had suffered a concussion and broken ribs in March after a fall in a Washington hotel, which kept him away from the Senate for nearly six weeks. As the Senate returns to session following a five-week recess, GOP senators are expected to face questions about McConnell's ability to continue leading the party conference, a position he has held for 16 years, longer than any other party leader in Senate history. While McConnell is expected to remain the leader through this Congress, which continues until 2025, there are growing questions about his future beyond that. Some Republican senators, such as Susan Collins of Maine and Mitt Romney of Utah, expressed confidence in McConnell's ability to fulfill his duties despite occasional episodes. However, not all GOP senators are satisfied with the explanation. Rand Paul, also from Kentucky, called the dehydration diagnosis inadequate, while Tommy Tuberville of Alabama expressed concerns about McConnell's ability to perform his duties fully. Tuberville emphasized the importance of McConnell's complete recovery and urged him to address these concerns at the upcoming conference meeting, saying, In my profession, I've seen kids really struggle for a long time after concussions. That's the reason you don't play them after that. You don't go back in the game until you're completely well. And it's obvious he's not completely well. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.